5,000 stuk of you know. Let's go kill them all. Hail Godless of Grace. <coughs> okay. Leeching of the Emperor. Oh. Leeching of the Emperor. Wow. Energy leads and energy leads. Very nice. Huh? Basket. Uh, nothing. Potion of speed. Hello, Aphrodite, and also Gorgi. What's up, guys? What is happening? Mysterious urn. I uh, cannot go there. Oh, Ternoski, hello, Bio. What's up, Bio, Ternoski? Seventy-two, thirty-one, thirty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-two. The white tiger. 
I need to increase my offensive ability a bit. Hey, Jadens! What's up? What you have read today? What have you read today? I hope something good. Just like that. Ah! Yeah, Zedens, I know. I know. Azolian already said this news in the morning today on the Discord. That maybe, probably, hopefully, they will make a new Hellgate Loton game. Hopefully this will happen, Zedens. But if it happens, it will happen years in the future, not anytime soon. But still, these news are some of the best gaming news ever. And they said that they are going to make it on Unreal Engine 5, right? If I remember correctly. Can you imagine how awesome that game would be? Unreal Engine 5 help get a lot of new game. Lately we are getting some very awesome gaming news. Mass Effect 5 is happening. It is happening already. And uh, there is a huge chance that Hellgate Loton will get a sequel. <coughs> Extremely awesome gaming news.
Ah, and uh, today I was uh, I saw something on YouTube anyway. People are saying that uh, it software is going to bring uh, official mod support for Doom Eternal, something like that, which is also very awesome if it happens. You know, supporting such a game with uh, official support for mods. For, especially for Doom games, is uh, the best thing you can uh, get for Doom games. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jaden, the difference is that I knew that Titan Quest was going to happen uh, the day I was born. 43 years ago. Hello Extreme, how are you today? I'm okay, Extreme. I'm okay, Ternoski. How are you? This dragon had a risky gas.
<clears throat> oh, by the way, I found my old uh, Skyrim uh, saves. That character that I was using to and recorded also some uh, videos of Skyrim dungeon crawling videos. I found the saves of that character. I was lucky. It is one of the very few saves of games that I have, uh, you know, packed up. Uh, yeah. Hello, Bukisa. What is the name on Steam? The Line of Epic Hero. And I downloaded uh, Skyrim again, I installed it, I maxed out all graphical settings, everything. Because I wanted to see how the game looks with uh, my new CPU, GPU and all of these things. The game looks amazing. Maxed out everything, absolutely everything at ultra settings. That game looks amazing. And of course it runs at uh, maximum FPS constantly. Now I'm wondering if there are any mods for Skyrim that uh, improve the graphics even more, the visuals. Upgrade the graphics. Do you know guys anything like that? Is there anything like that out there? What is this? Come on, move it.
There are a lot of graphic enhancement mods out there upgrading textures. Nice. Although, you know, the game already has super high quality and awesomeness uh, graphics, so it doesn't really need it, but if you could improve it even more, why not, maybe? What are you waiting for? Get destroyed! Okay. Knowledge there is. <coughs> Resistance of the Aspre, Shield of Philos. Ah! Oh, nice! I have this seed in my collection, but I have it only once. Titan Benz Gladius. Okay. Opa! Oh, very nice. Okay. Very nice item. I hope that I will get more Eternal Ebers uh, exclusive items today to drop. I'm done with this dungeon. A lot of YouTube videos haven't tried anything. Do you play Skyrim, Jaden? Hey, Vigar Phil, what's up? Time to time. Dun, 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 dun. Ouch. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, bomb pile. How do I go to that bone pile? Uh, oh, I cannot go there. I forget it, it's just a small bone pile, whatever. Skyrim was your first purchase of Steam back then. Oh, yeah, Skyrim is what? 13 years old now. But they are making other scroll six. Anybody here? Nope. Nobody here. Some enraged gorilla. These young the gorilla. Always needing something. Wait, this is a Lichik of the Emperor. I will put it in my collection because it is a perfect item. Dynasty of Harmony Veterans Energy Total Speed Energy Second yes. Yes and no, please don't go. There is a flying object here. It is a flying uh, beetle.
Primitive chest, mysterious soon, thundering uh, dragon stuff of fisting. Robocop Rock City PC Game <coughs> Alien Isolation Yeah, I have Alien Isolation is a good game, I have it But I don't know about Terminator Resistance Let's go there, and now let's go down to the cave. Into the cave. Yeah, Alien is stealthy, it is not really FPS, not that much. Zedan, you said epic games. <coughs> Last night I discovered that I have uh, in Epic Games Store account, I have uh, that game which is called Star Wars Battlefront 2. And I don't know how I got that game. I mean, I, I didn't buy the game, of course. I'm not into Star Wars. I don't remember, uh, maybe somebody gifted that game to me or whatever. I don't think that I got the game even for free. But I have the game in my library anyway. And uh, I was looking for info in the internet to see what game is that. And it is multiplayer but it also has a single player campaign. So I'm thinking that maybe I should download it and give it a go, the single player campaign. Uh, the single player campaign looks uh, amazing. Uh, and December received updates, you are saying that for. Uh... Yeah, okay. Uh, Jedens, you, do you mean that you have Elena isolation? That game is, um, I think it is supposed to be a horror-like game. Give it a go, Jedens, it is a nice game. I played a little bit at the beginning, the first couple of hours, I think, of Alien Isolation. It is a very nice game. Hey, Mark, what's up? Maybe I got it from those giveaways. Yeah, but I don't recall, I cannot uh, recall that uh, I got it from the free giveaways. I mean, I'm not really into Star Wars, so this is why I don't think that I got it myself for, from the free giveaways. Maybe I did. And, uh... 
I just cannot recall. Hey, I'm stuck. Hey, fuck my life. I'm stuck. Uh, <coughs> but I didn't know that that game is also it has a single player campaign. It says it has a single player campaign. Now I am interested. First person should a single player campaign. Yes. Multiplayer, I don't care uh, anymore about uh, FPS multiplayer. Fucking spell breakers, I hate them. Energy drainers and spell breakers. The worst enemies in Titan Quest. Vickerfield, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 is not a hack and slash action RPG. It is a first person shooter game, something like that. <coughs> Where are you now? You didn't get here. Yeah, this place in, is in Eternal Ember Sacked. Eternal Ember Sacked is accessible only in legendary difficulty. If you got to play here in this area, you have to buy Eternal Ember's DLC and uh, reach legendary difficulty to come here to play legendary. Okay, I have explored everything here. You didn't have enough time to play them lately. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh, or hypothetically, theoretically, you can uh, start a legendary hero. Uh, the legendary hero starts at level 70 when you create a legendary hero. And it starts uh, straight away in uh, this act. Hello, Benjamin. Uh, I'm doing okay. How are you doing, Benjamin? 
My three games that I would hope one day would get a remastered version. Um, Diablo 1, Diablo 1, Diablo 1. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, let's be a bit more realistic. Diablo 1, Loki Heroes of Mythology. Uh, Uh, I don't know, I cannot recall of uh, anything else right now. <clears throat> but I would really like to see a Diablo 1 at Hero Loki Heroes of Mythology remastered versions, if not remake. Extreme, which uh, games would you like to get a remaster for? Yeah, Knights of the Old Republic is uh, the RPG, action RPG, whatever it is. Son, I'm okay, how are you? Your play the recently on the reflect build, uh, you really hate those energy drain spiders. Yeah. One of the most, uh, the worst enemies uh, in the game. The whole game. Uh... Torch that two Titan quests, but they will never happen. A remaster for Kotor. Kotor is the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic.
Extreme, for towards that too, what I would like to see would be a modding team creating a mod which would only replace the graphics of Torchlight 2 with uh, not cartoony graphics, if possible more realistic graphics. I mean, if I ever become a millionaire I will do that myself. I will make a mod team to create uh, graphics for Torchlight 2 and uh, Which means I will never do it because I will never become a millionaire. <laughs> Maybe in another lifetime. How many deaths so far? Zero. I mean, this bit is uh, just getting started as a legendary hero in Eternal Labors. I didn't play the other acts yet. It's the beginning. You could play that, eh? Yeah, Extreme Imagine Torchlight 2 with. Um, much less cartoony graphics. What or a remake? They tested it in a PlayStation showcase some years ago. Yeah, but is this happening also to PC or only or for PlayStation? But still, I keep thinking of Starfield. I think that I would, I really want to play that game one day. So guys, for all of you that came to the stream uh, now, the, the last 10 minutes maybe, uh, One of the creators of Hellgate Lodon have uh, said that he, he said that uh, they want to create a new Hellgate uh, game, a sequel probably. So there are good chances that we will get a new Hellgate Lodon in the future. Torchlight 1 is more cartoonish. No, I think that Torchlight 1 is... Uh, it is not more cartoonish, it is... Uh, it just has a different cartoon style than Torchlight 2. I mean, both games are 100% cartoony. For example, Titan Quest is cartoony, but it is not 100%. Titan Quest is... Uh, I would say Titan Quest is 65% um, uh, realistic and 35% cartoony. But Torchlight games are 100% cartoony. Yeah, Kyosan, Hellgate Lodon, more. Can you imagine? Popo. What if this actually happens in the future? You are looking forward to Titan Quest 2? Eh, Mark, I think that everybody is looking forward to that game, of course. That is the main concern of mine. Hey, they are killing me softly. Thank 
Opa! Ah! Uh, I think I have this item again in my collection, but nevertheless it is very nice uh, that it dropped again. Okay, this is good because today I have already picked up three Eternal Ever's items. Although all three items I already have found, which is not that good. I got to find new items that I don't have in my collection. Kotor Games in Maggio, a very beautiful city, Montenegro. You would love to go for tourism for one or two weeks. Uh, Mark, which game will you hope it will be released to other platforms? Kotor. These young adventurers always needing something. I need a break. She needs a break. Give her a break. Break is the brand of a chocolate. God's safe travels. She needs chocolate. Opa, legendary. Staff of Elysium. Okay. Twenty-three months in fifteen days. Twenty-three months for what, Psyche? Is it your birthday? Ah, Mark, they have already said that Tatum Quest will release on consoles and on PC at the same time. It is not going to be only a PC game, a PC only game. Actually, do you know that the Titan Quest 2 has its own website already? Uh, 
Yeah, Psyche, I know about it and I never see shields because I have found the Onio shields many times in. Uh, especially in the tombs of uh, Eternal Ebers Egypt, in the burial vaults, uh, you know, Abydos crypts, this tomb. <clears throat> I know that those places have higher chances to drop those items. 23 month sub. Oh, okay. So we are getting closer to two years, eh? You know, I think the highest uh, amount of uh, subscribers I have ever had on uh, Twitch for a month, for example, was 30. I have never been over 30. But my average is around 10. I'm a failure on Twitch. An absolute failure. Titan Quest for Android. Hey, I don't think that this is possible. You are the MVP. What is? What do you mean, Psyche? What is MVP? When did I pick 30 on Twitch? I think it was uh, the month of Atlantis DLC release back in 2019. May or June of 2019. Atlantis like DLC released on May of 2019, as far as I remember. So it should be May or June, something like that. Hey Mohammed, how did you get that much speed while you use spear? Oh, from items. <laughs> I have 171% items. I have already made a bit guide video of this build. If you want to see details of the build, you can watch the video. Anybody else? No. The build is called the Dragon Spear. Uh, 2017 Ragnarok, 2019 Atlantis, 2021 Eternal Labors, 2023 0 Let's not forget Psyche 2016 uh, Anniversary Edition Hello Moscow, why is the dragon header sweet? Because I said so!
Six six six. Don't do it. Don't you like six six six? A Disney build. How can you make a Disney build in Titan Quest? Breaker again. Ah. Stop stuttering game, come on! Disney done only is worth it to complete the game. Do you mean to play only with Nedan without another mastery? You can do it, but I don't know. Will you like it? Hello, actor music. Is there a way to install that quest anniversary, but only but only Mortal Throne? What do you mean? Titan Quest Anniversary includes Immortal Throne, it is one game. In Titan Quest Anniversary, the base game, the expansion Immortal Throne, is one game, both together one game. Whenever you install uh, Anniversary, you install Immortal Throne as well because it is one game. Now, if you have bought the DLCs, and you want to, for example, for whatever reason, to install only anniversary without installing DLC, you can do that. Uh, 
You will go to the Steam page of Titan Quest on your library and uh, you will find the DLCs. You will uh, click on the DLCs to remove them from... Uh... Or if they will be automatically installed, then you go there and you click on the DLCs to remove them. Somehow you can do it. I don't remember exactly the process. You don't got the story to continue the DLC. Yeah! You install Titan Quest Anniversary and if the DLCs are automatically installed you can go to the page of Titan Quest Anniversary and you can remove the DLCs. Ternoski, if you are hungry for a pizza, get a pizza. What is my favorite remastered music album? <coughs> I don't have many remastered music albums, maybe one or two. I don't have any favorites. Purifying of the Magus. Okay. 61, 100. Can we get uh, any good items worth buying?
Bone pile, rank, bar maze of rhyme. Pick up the items, the items are mine. Let's go in that area first. So. Opa! Opa! Oh, oh. uh, I have never seen the... Uh, wait. I think I have never seen this item before. Opa! Oh, oh, very nice. <clears throat> yeah. I think I have never seen this item before. One more Eternal Ebers legendary for my collection. It is more that you have no inspiration for cooking. Ah, Ternowski, I think it is the better. Then in this case, this is the ideal uh, uh, time for you to, to get a pizza, if you that want to cook. From which country you going to go to roll the mystical orb? It depends, Mohammed, what you want to get. If uh, you want to get uh, the... If you are aiming only for the 27 exclusive legendary items that drop from the cursed orbs, you go and you buy orbs of normal tier of Eternal Ebers Egypt Act or Eternal Ebers Asia Act. Normal tier, not... Epic, not legendary, normal. You have very good appetite to go for a small walk. <coughs> nah, not tonight. Let me get you.
Sure. I have been there. Okay. Hey, Colonio, what's up? What would you think of Titan Quest PvP? <clears throat> you know, I have said many times in the past that in this type of games, action RPGs, I don't like PvP. It doesn't make sense to me because it is based on uh, luck. How lucky have you been to fight the right items for your? <laughs> character at how lucky will you be during um, combat to for your go, good skills to proc at the right time based on luck and this is not a good pvp to me in my opinion good pvp is uh, first person shooters for example <laughs> uh, is dragon hunter or assassin build better Overall, probably Dragon Hunter. <laughs> oh, very nice boots. Although I have this item in my collection, but it is a very nice Eternal Ember item. Abyssal plate. Just Thunderer. Just Thunderer is a very awesome build. Bedded of Divination
That enemy was a big ass. She was trapping me all the time. Can you still immerse yourself in the god after uh... <coughs> Yes, most can always. Of course I can. <coughs> With uh, this music of Titan Quest and uh, the awesome audio effects of enemies and the design of the world, of course I can. It is not only mechanics. Eh, uh, fuck off, eh. If I die now, I will never play that on quest again. This time I'm uh, very serious. This is very annoying. Very, very annoying. This is one of the things that will make me give up on this game one day. T take a look! I'm still losing energy! <clears throat> I think this is a bug now. Tartaring Sorry. But maybe I should actually give up on Titan Quest and go play something uh, much uh, a much bigger game like Diablo 4, maybe. 
Should I do that? What do you say, guys? Otherwise, this uh, channel will never grow. Maybe I should do it. I want to see now the PTR of the next season of Diablo 4 will start at April 2nd. I want to see... How do you play the PTR? Do you need to download the whole game again, but the PTR version of the whole game as you need to do in Diablo 3? Because if that is the case, I cannot uh, play PTR because uh, that game requires about 90 gigabytes of uh, hard drive. <coughs> and right now on my system, I should have less than 80 gigabytes free hard drive, so I can't do it. You grabbed two pizzas, Ternoski. Oh, you are very hungry tonight. Hot tap streamer. <laughs> nice idea. Playing Dota, Ternoski. No, I'm not for this type of games. Hello, Solid. You just came from work, eh? You could make some videos about the thoughts that would be interesting to watch for everybody. <laughs> not really everybody. Most people are not really interested in mythology or some would be, but in a gaming channel, especially, most would be interested in uh, watching gaming-related stuff, not. Uh... Shrine of Mastery. <coughs> what is that legendary? Armor of Peleas. I don't need the armor of Peleas. Ho ho ho! 
It is a uh, dragon header class is very powerful and um, you can make many very awesome builds. But so late, uh, you owe it to yourself to to finish Assassin's Creed Odyssey, as you were uh, talking about the other day. <laughs> you owe it to yourself to play all side quests. There are awesome side quests in uh, that game. And all DLCs complete everything. <laughs> to another nation <clears throat> A thousand stone. Okay. Sell items. Abyssal place of sayers. Uh, amulet useless. Axe of the refs. Phileos. Relentless of grace. Uh, it doesn't have a prefix. Selling uh, health potions. 
Come on, give me some legendary set items of eternal levers that I don't have in my collection. That feature in Grim Dawn where you can uh, trade uh, set items that you have found multiple times for other items of the same set, it's, it is perfect. Hey Demians, how are you doing? Yo guai, yo guai. Ay ay ay. Unfortunately, brown bears cannot drop any legendary. Transmuting, yeah. Grim don't use in three days. Let's hope that they will say the release date of the expansion. Which is not going to happen anytime soon, but you know, we can start to dream again.
Come on, stop freezing. Oh, 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 spider. Be April Fools. I will go sweep. So, Tarnoski, are they releasing now uh, Grim Misadventures once every month? For the new expansion. Only once per month. Hello, Christian, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. I don't speak bearish, so I didn't understand what that bear said to me. say once per 35 to 40 days which enemy does the life drain because it's not the spiders you don't think uh, it should be those uh, spiders psyche because <clears throat> they put down that um, how do you call it that effect the circle on the ground which looks like uh, the circle of power from spirit mastery that one drains your energy and your life or at least this is how it looks like in game now i haven't checked out the files of the game to see exactly what is happening but this is what it looks like You are watching me! Hader! Hader is only Hadic Mastery. Do you want to play only Hader, Polonio?
Come on! I cannot hit this enemy! Fuck the bugs of this game! Oh. I was clicking on the enemy and he... My character wouldn't go to that enemy because he was hitting at that specific spot on the map. What the hell is happening? Legendary is coming. Elare, this legendary really. We get this legendary always to drop from that fucking side quest. Very disappointing. Nature at Hunter. Nature at Hunter is the Ranger class, which is awesome, especially for new players. Raising Axe of Heroing. Uh, get out of there. If you had Titan Quest on Steam, will it upgrade to Titan Quest 2? Titan Quest 2 is another game, it is not the same as Titan Quest. 
You will have to buy Titan Quest 2 when it comes out. Uh, hope we give me some vessels more often later, uh, otherwise it would take much time for them to show everything. Maybe they don't want to show everything. Zao Farm Lads Gorilla Nothing there. <clears throat> In your childhood year, which did you like more Transformers or He-Man? So let's I think it was He-Man, not Transformers. But much more than these things I liked, <coughs> the ninja boy, Kappa Maru in Gano. Macaronada. You wrote Slovak beautiful Easter holidays. <clears throat> Oops. It is unpredictable that we could get news. New DLC tomorrow. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine them having uh, created the DLC already in April? April the 1st, they come out with news and they say tomorrow the DLC releases and nobody believes them because it is April Fool's Day. And then, 
<coughs> the next day comes and the DLC is out. And everybody goes nuts. Hello, Red Elf, what's up? <laughs> so let's, uh, you have made the Greek coffee as well, nice. Enjoy your night, your day, whatever it is, your night. Um, Fine arms, firm armor, fit for the Emperor's guard. See if what suits you. But I also have a very important announcement to make on April's full day, April the 1st. The announcement is going to be that I'm selling my YouTube channel. Blazik of Sulfur. 18 million gold. Long life. Long life, he said. Who, me? <laughs> Oh, you wouldn't be surprised too much. It is 7 p.m. Eh? Imagine Titan Quest 2 comes out on April 1st. Can you imagine? Your old phone isn't so good these days. Wait, your new phone cannot... Uh, it, uh, YouTube is not working on your new phone already. What is happening? I don't understand. <clears throat> Extreme, yeah, it is very funny, but is it really funny or is it is it an April Fool's uh, joke or is it a real thing? Huh. Nobody knows. Only this spider. Uh, take a look here. Why am I even bothering with this game anymore? Need more energy. Eh, okay. This is the last time I played Titan Quest. The final time. From here on I'm becoming a Diablo 4 streamer. Would you believe it if Titan Quest 2 came out on April 1st? <coughs> uh, no, I wouldn't. Uh, you feel skeptical? Modern games tend to release unconfidently. First alpha, then beta, tons of spoilers. Well, the thing in this specific case is that we know nothing about <coughs> their plans about how they want to release Titan Quest 2. 
And of course they are not saying anything, not yet at least. Nobody knows what they are planning to do and if they will tell us before they do it, they do it or be, who knows. Hello, said Hirako. <coughs> Which build for a totally beginner? One of the best builds for totally beginner is Rager Clash, which is Nature Mastery at Hadig Mastery. It is uh, a very nice one because it is very versatile. You can make many different builds with this class. You can go one good would be build, one good build would be to have a shield and a spear, and also use uh, some uh, pets from. Uh, Nature Mastery. <clears throat> that would be awesome. Nature Mastery at Hadic Mastery. Ah, let's go for my demand. Uh, the one that was tested or spoiled was Ragnarok as far as you know. <laughs> yeah, for Atlantis we had a closed beta. Which they announced to the community because they wanted some people from the community to join the closed beta. <coughs> Ragnarok was totally... It was 100% surprise to everyone. Also, Eternal Embers was a, <coughs> a total surprise.
I came back after COVID with uh, a bank. Yeah. You remember, I see. So Okay, let's go talk to the other guy. Did you hear that Gearbox has joined to X2 Interactive? Nope. But are they planning to do something with their popular games extreme? The spider is due to 1290 energy leads per second for a total of 8760. Yeah. But uh, what about life uh, drain? Don't they deal any life drain? I mean, this is uh, insane. Uh, they should be dealing life drain as well. Or energy leads damage uh, percentage of damage, you know, that stuff. Uh, not energy, it's energy drain percentage damage. I'm not mortal, you are mortal. You are dying, shut up, mortal. 
For defense and Ruska, how you come up with the points that extend your better details exactly? Uh, <coughs> you can go both ways, but I would recommend uh, to go strength uh, dexterity. Melee weapon strength dexterity. BL4 looks like it is in jeopardy because of the horrible Borderlands movie trailer. Do you mean extreme that they have released the Borderlands 4 trailer? Ah, wait, movie trailer? They are making a Borderlands movie. Okay. What? What? No! The Lotus Blossom's petals are not brighter than a mage's staff. Let's go of tranquility. Nice sword. Where is the stars? What you cannot part with? The stars. With the stars. The stars is on fire. The stars. Your back, not in your eyes. Here I got it dexterity. Yeah. <coughs> to increase my offensive ability. Mm. Energy least retaliation per second. Offensive ability. Very nice. Offensive, offensive. Offensive now is at 952. Very nice. Okay. So I will max out this one just for the offensive ability. Buffs. It will give me 15 at 15, 30 more. 982. 982. And if I spend. Uh, three more points to dexterity, it will go above 1000, around 1004. Okay, guys, this will be it for tonight. I will stop here, but I will continue this bit, it is very awesome. It does life leads. Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 I told you there is life leads from the spiders. It looks like the movie is going to be trash. Have a good one, Psyche. Uh, <coughs> guys, thanks for stopping by. I'll be back tomorrow to stream again. Maybe I will continue this character tomorrow. Maybe I will continue my Torchlight 2 uh, character tomorrow. We will see, I don't know, on the live stream. But <coughs> I want to complete Eternal Labor Sacked with this build, absolutely, because this build is awesome, super satisfying to play with, powerful enough. And of course, going through Eternal Embers Act, we have more chances to get the items of Eternal Embers. <coughs> uh, uh, <coughs> yeah, okay. So, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by again. I'll see you tomorrow.